www.expressit.net. For those of you who read the journal and saw the other video, we obviously have to uh, be more careful as to how we do this burn to minimize the smoke and stuff, like the, um, the firefighter told us. Our fire pit is legal. What we're doing is okay. We just have to make, make sure there's no excessive smoke. Right now we're fine. We're at like barbecue levels. But um, the way to do that, of course, is that the hotter it is and the more flame there is, the less smoke there is. So we got to kind of go Boy Scout with it. So as you can see, it's nothing excessive, nothing more or less that comes out of a you know good barbecue. As I take a shot up into the sky, you can see that it's not black, it's not filling the sky. You can't even see it once it gets past the garage, really. So we are within legality. And you know the way that the way the firefighters when they approached me last night when they're like, are you are you know are you all right? Is everybody okay? That proves to me that um, her next door, she made a, um, a fraudulent emergency call, acting as if um, acting as if there was some sort of big emergency. Disingenuous concern, as Marshall Masters might put it. <laughs> so. Um, now we're going to record all of this just kind of straight through. I can delete any redundancy later. And, um, you know, then we'll have everything video evidenced. And on a Catch-22, you see there's, there's no way to prove that she knew about the fire pit in advance. But now that it's all on legal record with the fire department and the police department, they now know that she knows, you know, we have a legal fire pit. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make sure we do everything the right way. And um, if, the, if she happens to call again, we're going to keep the fire burning to prove that we're doing it the right way. Minimal smoke, controlled burn, and all of that. And then it'll be her that gets the ticket for uh, filing a fraudulent report because neither firefighters nor police like wasting their time and both of which frown on fraud. So... As you can see, there's no more or less coming off of it right now than comes off of a really good going barbecue, you know, when you're out in your backyard cooking, you know, your burgers and your steaks and, you know, whatever else there is that you might want to cook. And as there becomes more and more flame and the hotter this thing gets, the smoke is going to get less and less and less instead of more and more and more. You see, we really just didn't think that she'd stoop to that level of, uh, of stupidity, and in all honesty, which is partly yeah. our fault. Uh, hey, man, what's up, Armando? How you doing, Dave? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, be careful when you smoke your cigarette. You know, someone might call the fire department. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, be very careful, Armando. Okay. You, don't, you, don't want the, you don't want the police over telling you to put out your cigarette. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Chill, Kate. You know I'm right here. What, Kate? You're silly. Hi. Well, I'm right here, Katie. You can talk to me all you want. <laughs> They're going out back to talk to Armando. Armando's cool. Armando's cool. Hey, what? No, we're recording right now. We're not watching. We're recording. You can see later. And no amount of crying is going to change that. So sorry. 
I hear you, Katie. You know I do. That's not a conversation, Kate. As we can see, we're still at we're still at barbecue levels. I don't know how well you can hear the conversation going on in the in the alley here. I could hear it pretty reasonably, but I don't know how well this mic is picking up. It's pretty funny. It's definitely pretty funny. See, Armando, he lives in the basement. Um, I don't mention his name because, you know, there's nothing bad we have to say about him. Armando's cool. I mean, you know, he's like, hey, neighbor, what's up? And he gives us beer and cigarettes and, you know, Armando's awesome. We like Armando. Armando's the shit. He's cool. We got nothing against Armando at all. Hi, Katie. Hi. There's Katie eating her food, watching the, the fire pit. Yeah, so, you know, now now this way. This way, if um she calls the fire department again, we're just going to leave the fire going instead of putting it out. So that they can they can see that um, Twitball next door is in the wrong, and um, she'll get a she'll get a citation for fraudulent report. That's all. It's cool. So you can't let you can't let people intimidate you and ruin your fun. You know, if they try, just laugh. Then that ruins their fun. That's how it works. But you know, as I've said before, you know this is some great fun. You know, the sun's in the process of setting. Don't know how well you could see it. They're starting to get a little orange glowy on the on the horizon there. The sun is in the process of setting. The pond lights have turned on, so we know we're in that sun setting zone because it's on the timer. So yeah. Let's go. Hey, what Katie? What's up? No, I gotta watch the fire. Fires are like little little four-year-old toddlers named Katie. They always need to be watched. I'm right here, Kate. You can talk to me. I gotta love them at that age. Cute, intelligent, devious, and evil. <laughs> Hi. Hey Katie, hey Katie, Katie, hey Katie, Katie, hey Katie, Katie, hey Katie, 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 hey Katie, 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 hey Katie, 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 Katie. Well, this thing's on a good solid burn so far. We're not adding anything more because obviously adding more right now would create more smoke, and we don't want to do that. Want to create less smoke? Things are heating up. You got the crackling. We got a you got a really good flame on this. So as things get hotter and hotter and hotter, then um, there's going to be more flame and less smoke. There's not really that much smoke as it is. Ooh, don't mind that. That's just blowing in my face. All right. Um, hold on a second. Hey, Connie. Uh, Sandy's going back upstairs. You need to watch your kid. She'll be there in a sec. Okay, well, we're after nine minutes now. We're going to continue the next one, www.expressit.net.